Right, so this is the Cantley Village sign that I have been commissioned to restore and repaint. And it is going to be quite a big job. There's a lot of wood damage on the top of the sign. Obviously, that's where the rain gets. On the back, <laughs> yeah, that all needs sanding off. It was repainted a few years ago, but as you can see, it's all flaked off and not in the best of condition. So all of this is carved. So I'm going to sand it back and I'm probably going to have to recarve some of that areas. I have my trusty sander. I've already been through three pads already of the coarsest grit. This paint, which whoever painted it before used, is proven to be very, very difficult to remove. Um, so I've sanded it down the best I can, and I have resorted to paint stripper. So after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, I've practically got down to the wood. This is going to have to do. What? What? Wood hardener. So I'm going to apply it to all the areas that are kind of rotten, which is especially round by the little sugar beet. And uh, then start filling and hopefully soon start painting. Right, so the wood hardener has set, so it is pretty... Solid now. I found the original picture of the sign and this church here, which I think is Limpenhoe, is missing a lot. <laughs> so I've just drawn around where I've got to try and build it up with wood filler and also the mast on the wherry. So it goes all the way here. So I've got to somehow build that up with wood filler. I think the painting is done. The thing I find hard is to know to stop and stop fiddling. So I think I'm going to stop fiddling. The next stage of the sign is to um, put two to three coats of yacht varnish all over to protect it from the elements, which should then last for years, I hope. <laughs> 